Hello everyone, Nubkex here. Welcome back to Nub Raids. In today's video, the Halloween Deck of Fate has just gone live in-game. Uh, and let's check it out. This is a brand new style of event. So yeah, what I want to do is to break it down and sort of explain to you what to expect, because that's so important. What are your odds of actually matching pairs and all the rest? Because certainly when you look at this event info, there's some really tantalizing stuff in there, guys. So we've come down here. This is the big one, I think, is this fate chest right here. If you flip three cards of the same rarity in a row, right? So if I do three common cards or uncommon cards in a row, I will get one of these rewards. If I do three rare cards in a row, these, obviously the three epic cards in a row. Look at this. How tempting is that? A sacred shard, a feast, a legendary book five-star chicken the rewards are insane but what are your actual chances <laughs> what are the actual chances that's what we want to break down um as we can see as well you the currency in order to flip cards it's going to cost 1000 pumpkins to flip a card uh in this iteration of the event and of course in in i assume this is going to come back in non-halloween form May, uh, who knows maybe back in december for another halloween deck for a laugh, but I imagine it might be snowflakes or, or presents in December or something like that would be my guess. Um, but yeah, this time it's getting artifacts and accessories. So that that is uh, dungeon divers, right? Dungeon divers. Um, it will not work from forging stuff in the forge. Okay, it, it doesn't give you points, I believe, either for things like your hydra chests or your arena chests. This is just you drop artifacts or accessories in campaign or in dungeons. That's what it gives you. You're going to get some points for that. Uh, also, artifact enhancement, so upgrading stuff. Again, this is pretty expensive. Like, putting one rank 6 piece of gear up to level 16 is going to give you 800 pumpkins. That's a pretty big chunk. So, you know, definitely beware of this. This is an event where you could potentially be spending a lot of silver, right? Or spending a lot of energy. Um, so really be careful. I, 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 will, I will do it here as well on the video just so you can see. But yeah, um, the typical rewards, you can see what are under these actual cards. What are the most likely rewards you are going to get? These are the most likely rewards you are going to get. Things like, whatever, 10 multi-battles times two, couple of rank charms, etc. Look at this stuff. This stuff, I would say, is pretty underwhelming, okay? You know, like 500k silver for upgrading something, a piece of gear. Um... Uh, it's not great. It is not great. So these rewards are the most likely thing. These ones are quite unlikely. Uh, so beware, 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 beware. Right, one sec. I'll be back. Let me show you the mats for how to know how likely you are to get this stuff. All right, guys. Well, here you go. Now, obviously, this gets complicated. But with 17 common cards, 13 rares, 10 epics, there's 40 total cards on the deck. Uh, your chance to, to get these face chests then, right? Your chance to actually get them. Starting with nothing, right? First of all, starting with nothing, you've got a 1.2% chance. And that's when all the cards are in play, by the way. Of course, as you start flipping cards and removing them from the equation, you would have to redo the mats. And I'll show you how I did it as well, so you know. Uh, you've got a 1.2% chance to get that epic reward. Um, and again, that's going to cost you at least 3,000 of these points to flip three cards. And you've got a 1.2% chance. You've got a 2.9% chance to get three of the rares and a 69 for three of the commons. Now, that being said, I mean, the first card that you flip can be anything. You know, it doesn't strictly matter. So let's say if you start off with it, let's say you pick a card and it's a common. What are the chances if your first card is a common that your next two cards are also going to be common? 16.2% chance to complete that. If you started with a rare card, you'd have an 8.9% chance to complete the set. If you started with an epic card, which is obviously the best one, 4.9% chance to complete the set. So it's it's pretty low. Uh, someone who's actually really good at maths could go in and work out what your chances to pull any set over all 40 cards are. Um, I don't know how you would work that out. <laughs> I do not have that. My math skills here are basically pushed to the limit as it is. Um, but yeah, here's, ba here's how you work it out. So let me show you how you would work it out. So we come over here. You guys can see this. Yes, you can. Blindingly white. Perfect. So we've got, we've got this many. So we go with epics. So with the epics, basically the formula that you would use, you would go, uh, it's 10 over 40. And then you'd multiply it by, you can see the formula is actually there. There we go. Um, 
then 9 over 39, right? Because you've removed one card from the equation, and now there's 9 of these cards left. Then 8 over 38. Multiply it by 100 to get your percentage chance, which is the 1.2%. So that's how we got the 1.2%. Okay, so that's basically how you do it. Let's say that, um, let's say we're a ways into it and 10 of the cards are gone. We pulled a bunch of rares and commons, but the epics are still in there. You could say there's 30 here. We could, again, just 29 and then 28. So if there were 10 cards less than the thing, you'd have a 2.9 or 3% chance rounding up, you know? So it's it's still pretty poor, but that's basically how you can do it. Um, when you flip a card, it should stay up there. So, you know, you can work out what your chances are of the stuff that is left. It's super unlikely though, right? <laughs> Remember, it's about a 1% chance, roughly speaking, to get one of these uh, on your first set of three flips. If you participate more, your chance will go up. Um, so yeah, let's, okay, let me, let me just upgrade some stuff really fast. Let me spend a bunch of silver. Uh, let's find someone that needs some gear rolled up. Here we go. Great. You're getting your stuff rolled up. Rolled accuracy, I think. That was actually really good. Uh, uh, you don't have any gear on you yet. I need to come back to you. Um, I'm overlooking some people. I normally mark people with hearts when I'm trying to roll people up. Oh, I don't know. She must need glyphs, actually. Just glyphs. You've got a heart. Yeah, she needs this stuff rolled up, but I don't want to roll up her stuff. Sorry. I feel like one of my uh, Shamales needs something rolled up. Yeah, here we go. This headpiece, that will do. Let's roll this up as well. Bam. So I actually didn't... Sp oh, sorry. I have to roll up all the way to 16. Okay, bigger chunk of silver has been spent. We're getting some faded pumpkins. All right, let's go flip a thing so you guys can see how it works. We've got 1,600 now, and we'll see if the cost increases or anything. Let's go for top right corner. It's a rare. Okay, it's a rare. There we go. So we got a rare. I got 50 energy for that. <laughs> it's 50 energy <laughs> worth the amount of silver that I spent. You know, not really, not really. And because we we started with a rare, I now have an 8.9% chance to complete the set. I have an 8.9% chance to get one of these. Yeah, so I don't know. Guys, let me know. What do you think of this event? Um, basically, the way that I look at it, this to me... I do think that the whole card flipping thing, I actually think that is quite fun. I enjoy that aspect of it. I actually think that's pretty cool. Um, I'm definitely concerned about the rewards. The rewards to me seem fairly poor uh, for the cost involved. You know, artifact enhancement, dungeon divers, these are, to my mind, two of the most intensive events. And this isn't really overlapping anything significant either. It's outside of a fusion. I do think that this is kind of a fun little thing, though. Like, for example, if they did one of the champion training events, for example, during a fusion, um, and you somehow you just got, like, whatever fragments for the fusion just by doing it or, like, flipping the car. I don't know. That could be kind of fun. I can understand some people wouldn't like it because the randomness. I actually think it's kind of a fun mini game. Um, it just depends on whether the rewards match up. Um, yeah, that's that's basically how I see it. It's like just participate a little bit for fun, but really be careful of your resources, guys. We're going to have another fusion soon, almost definitely for Halloween. You most likely want to be saving stuff for that. Uh, on Tuesday, I'm, I think this is probably as much as I'm going to do, really. <laughs> you know, it's probably, I guess I'll complete, I'll complete one, one triple flip. I'll at least, I'll co at least get 400 points more from Dungeon Divers and see if I get another rare. If I get another rare, I'll do the third one. And that's probably going to be it, to be honest, um, because we're going to have probably personal rewards CVC. That's a guess. We don't know, but the last one was non-personal rewards. It makes sense that this Tuesday, there's a good chance it would be personal rewards CVC. In which case, I'm going to want to save my silver and my gems and everything, my energy for that. Uh, so yeah, look, it's up to you. Um, but there you go. That's what I think of that. Looks like it's fun, but a bit out of place. Uh, someone that is smarter than me can come in and do the maths. I recommend probably HH Gaming, Safira over there. He will break down how much you actually have to do to max this event out uh, and everything like that. Actually, if I do if I do quick mats real fast, so we'd need to do 40, 40,000. Okay, so we need 40,000 divided by that. Uh, so if we do, <laughs> I'm not smart enough to do this live. 40,000 divided by 800. You would need to upgrade 50 artifacts from level 15 to 16 to flip every single card. And again, the real rewards come from that randomness of luckily getting one of these chests. It's complete slot slot machine. These actual rewards that you're guaranteed to get from flipping cards are pretty poor. Eh. Meh. Meh.
There you go. <laughs> Deck of fates, everyone. Cool. See you next time. Bye-bye. <laughs>